The state government has slashed the number of gangs targeted under its spiky laws as part of a deal with the opposition to get the legislation through Parliament. But support for the bill has come at a cost for the Liberals, with a growing split within the party. State political reporter Angelique Donnellan. In the war against spikies, the government and opposition have found peace. I've attempted to find an intermediate course where we get for the people of South Australia what the police commissioner absolutely requires. That includes abandoning plans to declare 17 interstate and overseas gangs as criminal organisations in the legislation. The Liberals have also dropped their demands for a judicial review of the planned declarations. Ten South Australian gangs, including the Mongols and Hells Angels, will remain the focus of the bill. By putting it through uh, improved scrutiny, we've come up with a better piece of legislation and we're going to be supporting it this evening. But there is dissent within the ranks. Upper House Liberal MP Andrew McLaughlin is preparing to cross the floor and vote against the bill. I'm a long-standing lawyer and a member of the Law Society and I don't believe that uh, the separation of powers should be breached and that Parliament should act like a court. Lower House Liberals Isabel Redmond and Mitch Williams oppose the laws because of similar principles. Look, every vote in the Liberal Party is a conscience vote. Uh, it's not surprising that not everybody agrees with the government's proposal here. The government turned to Parliament rather than the courts to shut clubs down after part of its original bikey laws was struck down in the High Court. Regardless of what the government and the opposition stitch up between them, this is still bad law. It was bad law when it was first introduced back in 2008 and it's still bad law. The spelling in the bill of the Comancheros and Gypsy Jokers has also been corrected at the last minute with the S deleted from the end of both names. I asked the police to give me their final uh, best details about these groups. The Attorney General wants the legislation through the Upper House by tomorrow because Parliament doesn't sit again until September. Angelique Donnellan, ABC News, Adelaide.